Monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, or MGUS, uh, always is a diagnosis of exclusion, which means we shouldn't label somebody as MGUS unless we've done due diligence. So broadly speaking, first we want to think about plasma cell disorders and non-plasma cell disorders. So within the plasma cell disorders, of course, we have myeloma, which is easy crab symptoms, smoldering myeloma, and, and um, uh, plasma cytomas are also important not to miss because uh, those can be resected or radiated. Uh, but also there's important other conditions that may not be as common but often may not be picked up or thought about. So AL amyloidosis needs to be thought about and particularly anybody who has multi-organ system failure symptoms, uh, POEM syndrome, uh, which is polyneuropathy, organomegaly, endocrinopathy, monoclonal protein, and sclerotic bone lesions. Um, there's other rarer conditions like uh, Schnitzler syndrome, um, and also there's a whole group of patients. Now we understand there's two other groups of patients that we need to think about before just labeling somebody as MGUS, and that includes MGRS, which is monoclonal gammopathy of renal significance, and so these patients can include light chain deposition disorders, heavy chain deposition disorders, um, Fanconi syndrome. So for these conditions, we need to work closely with nephrologists and consider kidney biopsy in somebody who has a new renal insufficiency. And finally, there's also monoclonal gammopathy with neuropathy. So this includes conditions like POEMs and amyloid, but we also know that some patients with MGUS have neuropathy just from having MGUS, where the antigens of these proteins are directed against nerve antigens. So I think if you've thought about a lot of those, and then also the non-plasma cell disorders like CLL can have a lot of uh, paraproteins, um, post-transplant lymphoproliferative disease, et cetera. Uh, but if you've gone through all of that, then MGUS is the diagnosis of exclusion. I think the way to explain MGUS to a patient is that this is a precancerous condition. Um, so if, again, if we've gone through all of that intellectual exercise and laboratory workup and we have found no other problems, this is a pre-malignancy. So I try to tell patients, look, MGUS is like a mole on your skin and you're not going to hack it out, you're not going to obsess over it, but you're going to pay attention to make sure it's not growing and changing. And if you notice that it's getting bigger quickly, you may want to reassess it. And so that's, I think, the analogy that I use in my practice to reassure patients that, you know, pay attention, come to your appointments, but don't live in your life revolving around this mole.